weekly tutorials with all my students. We had one last week. Yeah, that was to help you with your homework. Um, this is uh, this is a scheduled tutorial just to um, to see how you how you're getting on. Um, so, how is everything? Mm -hmm. um, are you coping with the workload? Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> your other teachers are really pleased with your progress. It's really hot in here, sir. Can I take off my jacket? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Do you want me to open your window? I know my English needs work, so Mum's prepared to pay extra for private tuition. I said that you were the perfect person. Right. Um, I'm sorry, Charlotte. I, uh, I've got a really heavy workload, and um, I just don't think I'll have the time. But she's willing to pay forty pounds an hour with travel expenses to and from my house. And it's only on the other side of town. Look. It's my mobile number. Right. Um, I know where you live, Charlotte. Ooh. Have you been stalking me? <laughs> no, Charlotte. Um, no, it's... All your information is, is on your um, on your school profile with your contacts and your emergency numbers. Um, I'll speak to the head teacher. Okay. Um, I, private tutorials are, are frowned upon usually. Um, so, I mean, I I can give you extra help. Um, in college, in college hours, and uh, but I suggest that you and your mum, you get um, you probably best to employ someone from outside of the college, perhaps. We've tried, but the nearest private tutor is miles away, and I don't get on with online tutorials. They really don't work for me. Uh, look, I I don't understand why you won't help me if it's going to make your exam results better. It's not the exams I'm worried about, Charlotte. Well, so you don't care if I fail? You're not going to fail. But I need a B in English to get into the university I want to go to and become the journalist I've always wanted to be. You want to be a journalist? That's great, Charlotte. It's great. You've got a goal. So, will you help me? I, I can't work at college, it's way too noisy. Lily, it's, it's 25 pounds for an application. I know, it's so expensive, isn't it? It's so crazy. Have you done your personal statement for you yet? Yeah, with a little bit of help from you know who. You're meant to write your own personal statement, Charlie. Yes, I know. Is he still helping you with your English exam? Yeah amongst other things. What's that supposed to mean? We kissed. What? Mr Evans? Yeah, we kissed. <laughs> you kissed Mr Evans? That's disgusting. <sighs> Fucking hell, Charlie. Does your mother know? No. Jesus, no. No one except you. I mean, Jamie could lose his job. I'm not that stupid, Ella. When did this happen? How long has it been going on for? Long enough. I love him. What? Are you fucking kidding me? What, like you loved Mr Hopkins? I just... thought you would have learnt from last time. Well, this is different, Ella, so you're wrong. Different how? Because you love Mr Evans just a little bit more than you loved Mr Hopkins. He loves me too, so... Oh, really? He told you that? You know it's illegal. You're going to fuck your life up. Well, not as long as you keep your mouth shut, Ella. 
In a few months I'll be 18, I'm leaving college and, and I won't be Jamie's student anymore, so it's fine. Oh my god, you're so fucking naive! You're just bitter because you had a crush on Mr Hopkins too. That's bullshit! You know what this makes him, don't you? No. No, no, it's, it's not like that. He's not like that. He, he loves me. We've made plans. You're so wrong about us. Ella, just, just please don't say anything, all right? Please. Send it out for Monday the 13th and make it at 4.30. Yeah, otherwise the couples will be falling asleep. <laughs> no, 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 it's a joke. Yeah, usual meeting room will be fine. Hmm. Okay, super, yeah. Yeah, great, thank you. Bye-bye. James, right, uh, please sit down. <coughs> to me with concerns regarding Charlotte Edwards, one of your six formers. Right. Um, what concerns? Well, um, she said that Charlotte was talking a lot about you. Uh, obsessed was the word she used. And from what she discussed, it sounds as if Charlotte may be infatuated. Right. Um, can I ask the name of the student who has said this? Yeah. Oh God, what was she called? Um, I can see her face. Oh, that's so annoying. It's on the tip of my tongue. Um, oh, Ella. Ella Avery. Uh, Charlotte's best friend. Ah, yes, I'm aware. Best friend she may be, but I've also seen her around you. And your point is? Well, Ella strikes me as a sensationalist. And if Charlotte and Ella were to fall out, I wouldn't put it past Ella to make something up. Right. Okay, well it's not just Ella's statement that worries me. Um, you have been having a lot of one-to-one -one tutorials with Charlotte. Yes, that's to help her with her English. I told you about that. Yeah, look, James, the point I'm trying to make here is... <sighs> students at this age are particularly vulnerable. And I have to say that um, this has happened with Charlotte before. What has happened before? Well, look, I didn't like to divulge this information at your interview, you know, when you asked um, why your predecessor left the college, uh, or was asked to leave, actually, and without mentioning any names. Um, how can I put it? He became unprofessionally, if not unlawfully, enamoured with Charlotte. And I am worried she may be tempting you in the same way. <clears throat> tempting? Well, yes. I mean, she's a very pretty girl. Precocious. Tenacious. Are you suggesting that I would be tempted into behaving unprofessionally also? Are you tempted? I'm gay. Sorry? I'm gay. I didn't want to divulge this information at our initial meeting. It's not the first thing a graduate teacher wants to talk about. An interview. Not that it should matter. No, no. 
Gosh, no, it doesn't. It doesn't. Uh, certainly <coughs> not. Um, and we have a very inclusive uh, empo employment policy here. Um, right. Right. Well, um, look, I'm. I'm sorry, James. Uh, not. Not for you being gay, of course. Um, but. But for um. Accusing me. Yes, but you can see in terms of safeguarding why I had to ask the question. Right. Yes, of course. <clears throat> Good. Right. Well, we'll say no more about it. But let me just say this. Do be careful. Look, you don't need to worry. The reason why I spent extra time with Ella was because of her older brother. He's afraid to come out to their parents. And she was upset and needed support. Hmm. Daniel Edwards? Uh, yes. Right, do you, well, do you think there's a safeguarding issue with the family? Uh, no. Charlotte just needed to talk to someone and I'm a tutor, so, well, the only unprofessional thing I've done is tell her my journey as a gay man, to help her guide her brother. Right. Yes, well, I'm sure you've been a, a comfort to her. Do let me know if there are any new developments, though. Um, and, and let me just say, I am very pleased with the way you've settled in here at the college. Uh, you're definitely an, an asset to the rest of the team, so well done. Um, right, I shan't keep you any longer, James. I'm sure you have better things to do. Thank you. Thank You weren't followed, were you? By who? Oh, I don't know, your friend for a start. You know she went to the head teacher? And that's why I had to go in there for a discussion. Oh, shit, what, Ella? Yes, Ella! Oh, that, that bitch, what the fuck did she say to Freaky Lucifer Lewis? Not much, thank God. But just don't blab your mouth. That's what we said. Don't say anything, not even to your best friend. So, sorry, so, so, so what happened? I've been so worried. I told her I was gay. <laughs> what? It was the only thing I could think of to throw off the scent. <laughs> No. I'm sorry. I am sorry. I... I won't talk to anyone about us anymore. I promise. I thought she was my friend. I'll, I'll speak to her, don't worry. No, I'll speak to Ella. It's your mouth that's got us in trouble in the first place. So it's all my fault. You know, maybe you should know better. You know, maybe Ella has a point. <sighs> Mrs Lewis said something else. She said you've done this before. Is that what I am to you? A score. A t-shirt slogan saying, I fucked a teacher. No! No, of course not, you... You know that. You must know that. Then why teachers? Why not a boyfriend of your own age? Because boys are stupid. I, I prefer more mature, more intelligent men. Men? Men? 
plural, Charlotte. No, I, I didn't mean that. If you like older men so much, why don't you have a go on the college caretaker? He's 76. He's a retired dentist. There you go. You can fuck a 76-year-old and get your teeth cleaned at the same time. Now you're just being cruel and obtuse. Obtuse? Obtuse? Is that the right word, Charlotte? Yes! It means insensitive. It means annoyingly insensitive, which is exactly what you're being at the moment. I know what the fuck it means. I probably taught you the fucking word. No, you didn't, actually. I read it in a Robert Ludlum novel. Which, by the way, isn't on the college reading list because it's actually interesting. Fucking hell. Stop swearing, James. It really doesn't suit you. Look, you're upset. I'm sorry, but just please calm down. Calm down. Calm down. I could go to prison. And for what? I thought you loved me. I... I do! Then why all the serial teacher fucking? Don't be crude, James. It's not like that. I did... I did have a boyfriend my own age, once. But he, he was way too immature and, and selfish, and way too fucked up. You know, one night he got really, really drunk and he came to see me at home. We sat out in the garden and smoked, smoked weed for a bit and, and it was fun for a while, exciting. I'd never smoked anything before. Anything. God. God, if my parents would have found out, they would have fucking killed me, James. They were only asleep in their bed at the time. It's just added to the danger of it all. Then he started to undress me. Grab me and... I tried to say no, but he wouldn't take no for an answer, so I... So I just gave in. I didn't... I didn't want to, but... I kept, it kept him quiet. Maybe... Consciously or whatever. I, I'm attracted to men that people trust. Someone caring, intelligent. Someone who listens to me, and values me. Oh my god! 